Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So for those of you who follow me, this is not my normal um, setup, but I am in the path of Hurricane Ian. So I'm half in the middle of preparing to evacuate, uh, finishing up getting ready for that. So um, yeah, hair and makeup isn't happening in this household. <laughs> so I'm just going to spare you that nightmare and bring you your reading. I uh, really want to keep the readings going if I can, so thank you for your understanding. This is not a date or time specific reading. I trust that whenever you find it, if it speaks to you, it's your message at that time. But as a general reading, it may not resonate for all of you. So just take what speaks to you, leave the rest. You will hear in the background beeping and hammer and saws and electric saws because they are still working on my roof yes um roof work happening literally with t minus 12 hours to go until a category three or four hurricane lovely you will also hear my kitten leo he's new and oh, poor little boy i brought him home during um all of this tumult and he's struggling to settle in so he may pop in for a little visit but i just wanted to make you aware of all the the sounds since you can't see what's going on anyway virgo so here we go let's see what is happening for you if you're new to the channel welcome i promise i'm usually on camera but um you just heard my little spiel so there we go lovers and the four of pentacles is the challenge to the choice we're making so this kind of feels um almost as if we've got our heels dug in on something there's something we haven't let go of right underneath we've got the tower so in our unconscious awareness we're still sort of paying attention to tower energy a big shift or maybe a paradigm shift but could just literally have been a tower moment um probably more not happening now but fresh in your recall in the past ten of cups look at the beautiful energy here that happily ever after card of the ten of cups emotional completion and fulfillment um and here we are with the moon in our conscious awareness maybe something with regard to not knowing how um, the other person feels hidden feelings or just our own insecurities being triggered by what we do not know three of wands is the you know some in the near future there may be something arriving that you've been anticipating message from spirit is the ace of cups always love to see that we've got the four of wands and the hidden energies come on now virgo this is a beautiful connection um twin flame energy look at this in your hopes and or fears this came out in the morning musing which did get posted um yesterday because i just couldn't get all the readings done let me shift everything a little bit so you can see so yeah in your hopes and or fears there's like some some energy that keeps coming up from the past past disappointments something that didn't materialize possibly this ten of cups and i do want to tell you with the hidden energy being the four of wands this is twin flame energy it is about um you know sort of the beginning of some form of life partnership commitment even and the outcome position is the magician we have all the tools we need at our disposal virgo to manifest our desired outcome if we don't let the fear get in the way right okay so let's just jump in and see what we get with some clarifiers Whew. there's the moon again okay death and ace of wands so i'm getting the impression here that part of the fear is that you know something that came to an end or um i'm saying that because the tower right and also the five of cups something that came to the end there's still the, almost like this inability to let it go and actually with the ace of wands underneath there's some kind of energy around a new beginning or reigniting the torch of passion in the connection so it's there um but it isn't the main focus because what's the main focus is something that may have ended 
um, bringing down a tower, leading to all this um, instable energy on an emotional level, especially because you may not know how the other person is feeling. So let's look at the tower. There's Virgo energy. Hello, Hermit. There's the King of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. So um, I feel like you're sort of leaning on your wisdom. This Tower and the Hermit can be a reference of a dark night of the soul, something that set you on a very solitary path for better or worse. And, you know, obviously the Tower, the instability with someone you had hoped possibly to have a future with and there's that three of wands, right? So there is some anticipation, maybe even expectation, which isn't the greatest thing. So we wanna shift that energy a little less from expectation and something more toward manifestation, right? So that's about setting intentions and doing you know, our part with our newfound wisdom, that hermit, right? What we've learned along the way we bring with us and we sort of apply it to the situation. So I think in unconscious awareness, we're definitely a little bit focused on a tower moment. Something sort of fell apart, didn't get the happily ever after, but we're not quite finished with it. Four of Pentacles, we haven't let go. We're sort of open to this new beginning. Um, maybe even with some measure of change, growth or transformation with that death card there. Of course, that is a choice. That is what the lover's card is about. Ten of Cups in the past. Yes. Lots of worry and anxiety. Who? Past life soulmate, Queen of Swords. Lots of unanswered questions after this tower. So whatever that tower is for you. Um, could have been a total breakdown in communication. Queen of Swords is often looking to just kind of open a dialogue here, but she's also a truth seeker and a truth teller. And I feel like what you don't know is what you've been um, dealing with energetically, losing sleep over, feeling the uncertainty of the situation, almost like um, you, you almost had it all, right? That 10 of cups is what you've been waiting for and you almost had it all, but the tower came in and something fell apart. It was either not sustainable or um, it was, um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at whatever happened, it's because the situation wasn't sustainable to proceed as planned. So now we have the moon in our conscious awareness. There's our King of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. We've got Aries, Leo, Sag, and Virgo there in the Nine of Pentacles. And the Justice card. So, yeah, wanting this kind of balance to come in, uh, maybe even some measure of accountability from the King of Wands, but because you don't know how this person feels. That is what I thought the minute I saw the moon up here, is there some kind of insecurity um, because you don't know how this person feels and there is the person that we're talking about. If you want that new beginning with this King of Wands, they've got to claim it, right? But you don't know how they feel, so here you are on your own. Just waiting for that sort of integration of everything, some measure of accountability with the Justice card to bring in some balance and harmony. This is Libra. We are now in Libra season. Um, hope you all had a happy birthday, Virgo. Uh, but we're now in Libra season, so, and we've got mercury in retrograde in virgo but moving back toward libra as well so that may open up some good communication let's see the three of wands this is in do you hear the little kitten he is so cute okay we have the high priestess the three of cups so we're considering um reconciliation the, there's just some measure of fate and destiny unfolding here, and I feel like you're operating on your intuition around that. So the Three of Wands with the um, High Priestess, definitely like more operating from your inner knowing, your inner sense of how close, what's the proximity? Is it coming towards you in the immediate sense, wands, right? Or is it unfolding in divine time and order? 
but is the time now that's the question for the near future is the time now to sort of break down the separation and come back into some form of reconciliation with a cause for celebration all of that looks good but again it's like you got to use your spidey senses for that let's see what spirit says with the ace of cups this is referencing that love of a lifetime right you haven't let it go four of pentacles there's the ten of cups oh thank you spirit six of pentacles reciprocity both of you invested in the connection neither of you letting it go that came out this morning except it wasn't the four of pentacles it was the nine of wands similar energy of not giving up not letting go so spirit saying if this is what you want don't give up on it but the four of pentacles is also a cautionary tale of being a little too guarded so you want to be careful about that um, you may need to sort of drop that center pentacle a little bit to open up your heart chakra but i feel like spirit's giving you a message here that what you desire is possible don't give up on it but also don't block it energetically four of wands in the hidden energies yes new cycle seven of wands and the five of wands so we're closing out for this person i feel is very much wanting a new cycle a new beginning in the connection this feels very um, past life soulmate energy twin flame energy um, sort of releasing the defensiveness that was present because of all the conflict so i feel we're closing out a cycle of defensiveness and or resistance and whatever drama was going on this feels like outside sources of interference that may have had this person be more resistant toward moving forward that's what's closing out new cycle for the twins beginning lessons have been learned with the world card that is aquarius and capricorn it's a uh, ruled by saturn so yeah the great teacher lessons have been learned and we can drop uh the drama of the past the conflict of the past this person has learned something important and is closing out that cycle so let's look at the five of cups in your hopes and fears there's the nine right there's the nine of wands i referenced earlier ten of swords despite that painful ending you haven't let go whoops but it's interesting um hold on i just dropped a card it's interesting because the focus is on what has been lost to you so the five of cups and the ten of swords definitely connected but you haven't given up on getting beyond it that's why the six of swords is underneath um definitely exhausted persevering uh, I said this morning or yesterday morning when I did the morning musing against all odds so it's almost like you despite this disappointment despite what you feel has been lost to you despite the painful ending there is a perseverance here to get on the other side of it I do feel like you need some questions answered in the past you did not get that everything was humming along here and then we had the tower so if that sounds like what you've been dealing with that's some confirmation for you you haven't given up this person is shifting into a new cycle releasing their resistance letting go of the con maybe the conflict has even passed um, or is in the process of closing out so let's see what the magician has in the outcome four of swords two of cups ten of pentacles beautiful so definitely oh this feels so good manifesting the healing for the soulmates for the twins and there we can begin to move towards something more long lasting this is the future notice the tens that are present here ten of pentacles we had the ten of cups in the past but it didn't materialize okay spirit saying wait a minute don't let go don't give up it's still available to you here so this is very powerful in this position this is very powerful because it's as if to say if you hang on a little longer you can heal what got 
you know, um, discombobulated or derailed in the past come together and move forward. They have their eye on the future. You're being guided to have the eye on your eye on the future as well. So very beautiful energy here for the outcome position. Um, what I'm going to do, let me tell you the astrology that showed up here. What I'm going to do in the extended is take it all from your person's perspective. How do they show up in the reading? What do they, what do they make of the situation? What's their version of the story, so to speak? Um, how do they feel about you? What are their intentions toward you going forward? And then I'll get another card from Spirit to help navigate all those energies and we'll close out with some Oracle. So the link to that is in the description box below. Here's who shows up. We have the moon twice, that's Pisces. Uh, we have Scorpio in the death card. Tower is Aries. Virgo, you show up in your own reading in the Hermit. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. More Virgo in the Nine of Pentacles. Libra in the Justice card. Pisces in the High Priestess. Sagittarius in the Wheel of Fortune. That's a card of Jupiter. And Jupiter is in Aries right now, so I'm feeling definitely like um fate may be bringing in a new expansive beginning if you take the action and if they take the action right the world as i said is aquarius and capricorn we've got more virgo and gemini here in the magician that's what i have for you really gorgeous reading for you virgo can't wait to see what your person shows up with the link to that is below see you there in a second otherwise have a great one and i'll see you in a future reading bye for now